Hi Joy Kids, today is 19th Friday um, and the scripture comes from the book of Matthew chapter 15 verses 1 through 20. Some Pharisees came from Jerusalem. They asked, why don't your disciples obey what the elders teach? Your disciples don't wash their hands before they eat, Jesus replied. And why don't you obey God's command? God said, honor your father and mother. But suppose people have something that might be used to help their parents. You allow them to say it is instead a gift set apart for God. You make the word of God useless in order to follow your own teachings. Isaiah was right, he said. These people honor me by what they say, but their hearts are far away from me. Then the disciples asked, Do you know that the Pharisees were angry? Jesus replied, Leave the Pharisees. They are blind guides, Peter said. Explain this to us. Don't you understand yet? Jesus asked them. Everything that enters the mouth goes into the stomach. Then it goes out of the body. But the things that come out of a person's mouth come from the heart. Those are the things that make someone unclean. Evil thoughts come out of a person's heart. Those are the things that make you unclean. Amen. All right, Joy Kids is a long verses, but go and meditate and then come back. All right, welcome back. So today's title is From the Heart. And what is happening is that Jesus is talking with this group of Pharisees, right? And if you remember before, Pharisees are people who had a really good a, like intention. Like they wanted to be good. Um, that they really try to follow God's heart, God's words by making so many laws. So their start was good, but because they try to be better by following laws, as the time passed by, they started becoming very arrogant, thinking that if you follow the law well, that they are believing God well. And that is something that we also need to be careful, especially for those who have parents that makes you read Bible every day, that goes to church on Sundays, and maybe even have you know family worship every day. We sometimes tend to think that because we do all that outside, right, that we are doing well with God. But... Those things may help you and, you know, that's the best things that may guide you and help you to um, do better daily. But more important than that is how are your relationship with Jesus, personal relationship? Do you really see God in everything that you see and in everything that you do? Do you really allow God to really tell you what he really wants? You know, even when you walk, walk around outside, you know, even if you see flowers, trees, or even in your house when you wake up, right? If you can really have relationship with God in everything you do, that is the more important part. Because Pharisees, even though they knew, memorized all those laws and followed it, they tried their best. They couldn't even realize who Jesus was who the Messiah was when Jesus was there. So that's something we have to be careful. And what Pharisees were doing is they were following the laws um, outside. But when, for example, there was a money, right, that they could have used it to help their parents. But when someone asks, oh, how come aren't you giving it to your parents? And the Pharisees, you know, may, maybe some of them were, were like, oh, this is a gift for God. Right? They kind of lied. They used God's law to not make an excuse. And so that's something we have to be careful. Boys and girls, uh, many Christians or those who go to church kind of make excuses, especially when you do at school. 
should you make an excuse saying that you need to go to church and that is why you couldn't do homework? Or because you go to church, you couldn't study? There is no way you can make those excuses, right? Because, to be honest, how many hours in a week do you watch YouTube? How many hours in a week do you, you know, play games? Or how many hours in a week do you just do something else? If you have time for all other things but God, then you can't make an excuse. Right? And Pharisees, they were making excuses. And the something that Jesus reminds us is that, you know, whatever we eat, that's going to come out of our body eventually. Right? But we have to watch our heart, what we say. Because whatever you say with your mouth, that's what's in your heart. The evil thoughts that you might think, that's probably what is in your heart. And those are the things God says are the things that's going to make you unclean. It's not what you eat, what you do outside of your physical body, but what you say especially and what you think. Those are the things that's going to make us unclean spiritually. right? So I want you, boys and girls, to challenge yourself and watch out what you're saying. Do you thank God? Or not? Do you complain all the time with your words? Because that means you're complaining in your heart. And we want to have a clean heart. Clean mind. And so whatever you say and whatever you think. I want to challenge you all. To really think in God. Think and say things that God will be happy about. I'm sure you all can do this. Let's be like Jesus more and more together. You know, I'm not perfect. And so we're doing this together. All right. So let me read the potter's will for today. The Pharisees complain that Jesus' disciples do not wash their hands. Jesus asks them why they themselves do not obey God's command to honor their parents. The disciples notice that the Pharisees got angry with this and they tell Jesus about it. Jesus says they should not mind them and explains what, that what makes someone dirty is not what goes into the mouth, but rather the evil thoughts that come from their hearts. So the question for today is what makes us unclean? What makes us dirty? So comment below. Let me read the prayer. God, you always look at our hearts. Touch and transform my heart so that good comes out of it. Give me a clean heart. Do your good work in me. Dear Heavenly Father, God, I pray that, Lord, give me a clean heart and clean mind that our hearts will be clean in you, that you will be delighted by what we think and what we say. Lord, let us not be like Pharisees, that we may be arrogant by following the laws, but we may be humbly seeking you daily, and we may be checking our relationship with you personally. Lord, I want to bless all joy kids that they may really have an intimate personal relationship with you, God. God, we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.